Hello and welcome for this day's review of um, Nobloter Flying Hide. This is a small sample. Uh, the sand profile on this one is bergamot, bay, tobacco, and the leather. You can um, really feel the, the leather in here. And maybe in the back some sweetness uh, from the bay and uh, the citrus notes. I cannot detect its leather most prominent here. Noble Luther usually makes great soap, so it will be very nice. This shave, I hope. Uh, it's an excellent uh, ingredients list on this soap as well, as you can see in the description below. And uh, it's uh, $16 for uh, 4 ounces, so it's a quite reasonable pr price for a good soap. Um, I'm gonna do my little pre-shave routine here, I'll show that again, in case if there are someone new watching this. I use the soap as a pre-shave, I'll just take a little bit of my fingers. I'll smear it out, it doesn't have to be much at all. Just a little bit. And uh, it's enough to do this just a few minutes before you start the shave. And then I'll take some water to make the soap react to the skin. And that's all you have to do. I do this to increase the slickness uh, on the first pass because usually the skin needs a few minutes to uh, no the soap ingredients needs a few minutes to react with the skin and give this nice slickness and if you do this as a pre-shave you don't need to buy any expensive pre-shave because this is enormous slickness. Um, Meanwhile, we can talk about something else here. I got a mail call from my friend Jongju, and he sent me two brushes. One uh, Yaki synthetic brush that I forgot, it's in another room, so I'm not going to show that today. It's a synthetic, and he sent me this um, two band badger. It's, um, let me see how, what it says here on the handle. William Marvey, USA. I don't know if this is rubber, I think so, and this is plastic. And then uh, Jungju uh, made this not himself. So this will be the first time ever I use a badger brush. It will be very, very interesting. I let it soak here for 10 minutes in the water. That will be interesting to try, to compare it to my synthetics brushes. And I smeared out a little bit here of the soap in my bowl here. I'm gonna do a bowl ladder. So it will be interesting to see how uh, the badger will do with that. So we can start with this. I'm also gonna shave with um, the Fatip Grande Gold with the Gillette Minora blade for the second use. I will review that blade later. I want to try it a few times first. So let's see what's gonna happen with this. Badger brush. Need more water here. No bloater soaps are easy, very easy to lather up. Whip up, I mean, not lather up. Maybe you can say ladder up, I don't know. The 
it seems like the brush eat up uh, everything of the soap. It's not much left in here, but it's okay. It's inside the brush then. It came up again here with a little bit more water. Let's not overdo this, I'm happy so. Little bit peaky, doesn't have to be super peaky. It doesn't affect the performance of the soap a bit. People seem to put too much effort to have the perfect look of the leather, but in my experience it doesn't matter. It can be bubbles, it can be airy. It doesn't matter. The slickness is what matters. Okay, put this on now. I have three days of growth. You see, you got the very, very nice leather here. In no time. Here we go. <coughs> This time I have not forget to align the blade. I think it will be good. It's very nice when you have this enormous slickness immediately in the first pass. The last chance to cut yourself. Winter have struck us here for full now. Got a lot of snow and it's been cold too a few days. Yeah. <coughs> it will come more snow this weekend. No problem with this brush. Whipped up the ladder really nice. 
I suspect it's tons of soaps in here. Let's try this. Yeah, it was. I really like Noble Water, they have a very, very nice lather. Seems like I managed to cut my Adam's apple. You guys who have a hidden Adam's apple can be very happy. I think I can detect a little bit of the tobacco now. Let's do another pass, even if it's maybe, it's not necessary. No, it's not necessary. I have the usual pickup. Let's try to catch them on the third pass here. I cannot send anything from the bay or the bergamot really here. It's tobacco and leather. But it's an excellent performer. Now I have so much soap on the handle, I cannot even hold the razor. Sorry, second. That's the downside with this beauty, the Fatip. Yeah. It's an excellent razor with an excellent bad grip. I 
however, it's worth it to shave with this one. This razor gave me so close. Unusually good shaves. Especially with a slick soap like this. Take some water here, as lubrication. Now I being very picky here. So I'm happy so let me rinse and I'll be back. For post shave I'm gonna take some Nobiru of Sweden, sandalwood balm. I forgot to mention it was um Cedar also in this some smoky cedar, which I didn't detect, I must admit. I take, even if it, this is a very good soap with good ingredients, I just take some balm anyway because the weather here is cold and dr very dry. And the soap itself um, was a fantastic performer with an enormous uh, glide and slickness. Really good soap, the medium strong scent of uh, leather and tobacco in my nose. Uh, a soap I can recommend, very very nice soap with perfect clean uh, nice ingredients list. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm gonna use this because it's date night. So So I'm happy you watched. I hope you enjoyed and I uh, hope this can be some guidelines for you if you're interested in this soap. Uh, you can always ask me in the comments below if you wonder over something and I'd be happy to answer you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care out there. See you soon. Bye bye.